Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna start a brand new project. We're gonna build a truck box for dad for the Texas trip. So this is my system right now. I built this a while back. I basically have a sled on rollers that comes out. And then for stuff that's way up front, I use this and I hook it. So let me make this really clear. Vicky rides in front, my hoe rides in the back. Okay, we got dad's hoe out of the back of the truck. We got the sled out of there. We hosed it out and cleaned it out. That way, when the box sits in there, it'll sit nice and flat. There won't be a bunch of junk underneath it. Now we gotta make our measurements and make our cuts. So we made this box 78 and a half inches long, which left us right about an inch between the edge of the box and the tailgate and 49 and a half inches wide. Now this box is also 13 inches tall which is a little taller than I thought it should be, but turns out dad was right. We used wood glue and inch and a quarter cabinet screws on this entire project, except for the lid. The lid we didn't glue down in case it wasn't right and we had to take it back off and then it just would have made a mess. So we used clamps on the first one to hold it in place, but then we realized dad can just hold it and I'll get under there and put a few screws in it. We wanted to get all the pieces in place, then we're gonna flip it upside down and put screws every six to eight inches to really make sure this thing's solid. Because we used plywood, there's some wobbles in it a little bit, but that's no big deal. But we wanted to make sure everything was as square as we could possibly get it. And for the most part, it was. There's a couple little areas, but you guys can't see it on camera, so we weren't really too worried about it. You can see as we're screwing it down that it's wobbling, and that's because of the bow in the bottom piece. We didn't really notice it too much while we were making the project, but we'll address that later in the video. We wanted to make sure we had plenty of room on the left and right side of the drawers, so we cut the bottoms at 22 and a half inches wide by 77 inches long. And the sides are nine and a quarter inches tall. We had to make sure to leave room for the little casters we decided to put on here. So here's what we got so far. We have our box frame built. We have the bottom piece cut, the sides, and the middle and the back. So the frame's all built. We just cut the two bottoms for our drawers. Before we build the drawers, we are gonna cover the bottoms in some indoor outdoor carpet. Now, mom and dad have had this for like 60 years. I don't know, it's been around for a while. Basically, we're gonna put some spray adhesive on here, cut it roughly to shape, and then once we get the sides and the back on it, we'll trim the rest off. And then we might end up using a staple gun too. So I laid the carpet down on the first drawer, but I completely forgot that we're gonna glue the sides on. So for the second drawer, we made the drawer first and then we just cut the carpet to shape, which actually worked out quite a bit better. That way you don't have to cut the carpet twice. Well, we are on day two of this box build. So we got our frame all done, we got the drawers all done, and we actually had to add some braces to the top of the drawers because the plywood was a little bit on the wobbly side. But I think using three quarter inch plywood was the best bet. It's nice and stout, heavy, 
and it's gonna work really well. So now we gotta make our partitions. So we wanna be able to adjust the size of our cubbies. So we cut these two inch strip pieces of three quarter inch plywood and then some quarter inch plywood that'll be able to come in and out here. So we wanna put one of these every foot so we can adjust the size of our cubbies and also we cut these nice and short so we can lay something long along the top. So first thing we gotta do is cut our little strips and then make our grooves right here for our partitions to slide in. Let's get to it. The majority of this project was dad's ideas and it took some convincing for me. But I have to say, he knocked it out of the park on this one. These adjustable partitions are phenomenal. We really like them. Again, I wasn't too sure, but again, dad proved me wrong. For all you furniture builders out there right now that are saying he should have used a chisel, we know. Ooh, look at that baby. Works like a charm. Well, we ran into a bit of an issue. We're getting ready to put the top on and we realized this has a pretty good bow in it. About an inch high. The middle rib is about an inch higher than the sides. So dad came up with a genius idea. We put this two by four on the bottom here, clamped it on the sides, and then we're just gonna clamp this middle down and it should straighten it out. And then theoretically, theoretically, once we mount the top piece on, it'll be all nice and flat, or at least a lot less bowed than this. So let's give it a shot. This worked really well. We were actually really surprised at how well it worked. One thing that it did cause though, is it caused it to be a little bit out of square. So as we were putting the lid on, we anchored the two corners in the back, and then we just kind of had to split the difference a little bit. One side we had to push in, the other side we had to put a wedge in there and kind of push out. But all in all, it really worked well. So we put the lid on, we got this thing pretty much squared up. You know what, we're not furniture makers, so it ain't perfectly square, but it's square enough for me. Now all we gotta do is make our drawer fronts, get those cut. We can't put them on yet though, because we don't have our casters, because we've got casters coming, but uh, we can get them cut and start getting this thing painted. For the drawer faces, we cut one piece that covered the whole front and then cut it in half. Then we put a chamfer on the drawer faces and I sanded all of the rough corners off the entire box. Instead of paint, we sprayed on this flex seal stuff. And I gotta say, it really worked well. But what we should have done is we should have gotten like a quart of it and rolled it on. It would have gone on a little thicker and smoother and I probably would have been a little bit cheaper. These things are like 15 bucks a can, and we used four of them, so you do the math. All right, it's time to install our little casters. So these things are so cool. They're only about one inch from the plate to the bottom of the wheel, just slightly over that. And I think that's what we had figured. I think it's gonna work really good. So we're gonna get these things installed, roll those drawers in and see how it works. The thing about using these little casters is that they all had to be completely straight. So we measured to make sure everything was 100% in line 
And we really took our time putting these on because if one is crooked, it's gonna throw everything off. We use some nice heavy duty handles on the drawers because these things are gonna have weight in them. Tools, materials, so on and so forth. Then to put them on, we shimmed it up about a quarter of an inch with a little piece of plywood to make sure we would clear the tailgate and then secured them on there. So there you go guys, we pretty much got it finished up. Uh, we might do a, a couple little touch-ups, the little scratches and stuff, but super happy with the way this came out. Took us about two days to build it. It's stout, it's heavy, we weight tested it, we put a bunch of weight in it, it rolls good. Those casters I think were a great idea. Um, we got the flex seal on there as far as the exterior of it. I just, uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. We're super happy with it. So again, we might do some things on the side for cubbies and all that. Well, that might be down the road somewhere, but as far as the box goes, it's pretty much ready to travel. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this. We had a blast making this thing. I hope it's something that you guys might consider for your pickup. Man, I think it's gonna make organization and for us to travel around going and doing these shows and for our trip to Texas, I think it's gonna be absolutely ideal. That's it guys, hope you liked it. Thanks again for watching, we love you. We'll see you on the next one, bye-bye.